Break two. Unit one. Lesson one. Coming home. Find these activities in the photos, which do you often never do. Have lunch at school. Do sports. Help to make dinner. Listen to music. Read on the sofa. Text friends. I am Marion. My daily routine is the same every school day. I always get up at half past six in the morning. My mom always makes my breakfast. I go to school by bus with my friend Dina. Sometimes we listen to music. My parents work at the at the hospital. They they get home late, so I often help to make dinner. In the evening, I do my homework, read on the sofa, watch TV, and text my friends. Then I go to bed. Page three, reading, exercise two. Read about Mariam again. Are these sentences true or false? Correct the false sentences. Number one. Mariam does the same things every day of the week. Mariam cooks breakfast before school. False. Her mom makes breakfast. Number number three. Mariam sometimes listens to music on her way to school. True. Number four. Mariam always makes dinner for her parents. True. Number five. Mariam often watches TV in bed. False. She watches TV in the evening. Exercise three. Read and complete. Mariam doesn't get up at seven a.m. She she gets up at six thirty. Mariam doesn't make breakfast. Her mom always makes it. Her parents doesn't work at school. They they work at hospital. They they leave home early. They. Get home late. Exercise four. Answer the questions. Does Mariam listen to music on the bus? Yes, she does. Do her parents make the dinner? No, Mariam makes the dinner. Does Mariam take her friends before she goes to bed? Yes, she does. Does Mariam do the same every school day? Yes, she does. Lesson two. Lesson two. My best friend is family. Hi everyone. Today is an interview. It was my best friend Sharifa and her family. Here is a photo of us. Sharifa is on the right. How many people are in your family, Sharifa? There are five people: me, mom, dad, and my two brothers. When do you get up? I usually get up at 6:30 and help mom make breakfast. My brothers help too. My dad starts work very early, so he leaves the home before we get up. That's why he doesn't have breakfast with us. He eats when he gets to work. I walk to school with my brothers. Do you like to study? Yes, I do. My favorite subject is English. What do you do in the evening? I listen to music every day. My dad and I sometimes play chess. My brothers always watch TV, and my mom usually reads. Question number one: What does Sharifa live? Who does Sharifa、uh, does Sharifa live with? She lives with her parents and two brothers. Where does Sharifa's dad eat breakfast, and why? At work because he leaves early. How do Sharifa and her brothers get to school? They walk to school. What's Sharifa's favorite subject? It's English. How often does she listen to music? She listens to music every day. What do Sharifa and her dad do in the evening? They play chess. Exercise number four. Complete the questions. What do you do in your free time? Where do you live? Who do you live with? When do you get up? 
How do you get to school? Exercise number six. Match the question to the answers. Number one. Where do you live? In Cairo. In a big lot of flats. Number two. How many people are in your family? Five. My parents, my grandma, me, and my sister. Number three. Do you like football and why? Yes, I do. Because it's fun and it's good for you. Number four. What do you usually do at the weekend, Nabil? Sometimes I go to my friend's flat and we play computer games. One time. Number, number five. What time do you go to bed at the weekend? At about 10 o'clock. Lesson three. Life is around the wallet. Tell us, tell us about your life. What are your hobbies and interests? What is a typical day in your life? What job do you want to do one day? My name is Shahana. I am from India. I live in a village with my parents, my brother, and my sister. I share a room with my sister. We all get up early. There is an outside tab at the end of the street where we live. My mom gets water from the tab every morning. Then we all have breakfast. We have bread with a cup of tea. My dad works in a shop. I have two jobs to do when I get home from school. I feed the chickens, then I help my mom make dinner. After dinner, I do my homework. Sometimes I help my brother and sister to do their homework too. Then I go to bed. Exercise number two. Read and circle, read the article again and choose the correct answers. There are five people in Shahana's family. Shahana doesn't live in the city. The family doesn't have water in the house. Shahana has breakfast with her family. She helps her mother make dinner. Exercise 6. Read the conversation and answer the question. Grandman, have you got a watermelon? Yes, I have. It's on the table. Can I have some, please? I like watermelon. Yes, of course. We need a knife to cut it. Shall I help you to cut it? Thank you, Eunice, but be careful with the knife. Exercise 7. Complete the text message with can, shall, or have you got. Hi, man. Have you got that game called Would I Doubt? No, I don't play that game now. It's for young children. Have you got any other children game? My six-year-old cousin is here and I and he wants to play a game with me. Yes, I have role play. Do you remember that game? Yes, I do. Shall I borrow it this evening? My cousin would love it. Of course. Can I play it too? It's better with three people and I still enjoy that game. Of course, you can come to my house later. Lesson 4, exercise 2, the railway children. It's the 1900s. Roberta, her younger brother Peter, and their little sister Phyllis live with their parents in London. They have a big attractive home with a large garden. One terrible day, two men take their father away from home. The children don't know where he is going or why. The children move from the city with their mother to a small house near a railway line. The family are poor and life is very different for them. The children have lots of adventures near the railway line. A kind old man who travels in the train every day becomes their friend. The old man helped the family in many ways. He helped their father too, because their father is in prison for something he didn't do. Finally, their father comes home. The family is so happy to be together again at last. Lesson 5. Vocabulary. Label the picture with the words in the books. Number 1. Bookshelf. Number 2. Mirror. Number three, 
chest of drawers. Number four, basin. Number five, armchair. Number six, lamp. Number seven, curtain. Number eight, window. Number nine, sofa. Number ten, carpet. Lesson six. Exercise one. Dear Rebecca, it's very nice to meet you. My name is Judy. I am from El Fayyum in Egypt. It's a large city with beautiful natural reserves nearby. I live with my parents and my brother in a flat. My grandparents live in a flat downstairs. On Saturdays, I usually get up early and help my grandmother with her shopping. Then I read or do my homework. In the afternoons, I visit my friends who play computer games with my brother. My favorite subjects are math and English. Thank you for being my best friend. I am happy to be able to practice my English. I hope to hear from you soon, Judy.